there's one thing, like a dragon infinite wealth taught us, it's that Kiryu has always lived his life for others instead of himself. This has led him to make a lot of connections, and meet a lot of people he wouldn't otherwise. It made me start to wonder if we could count every single friend Kiryu has, so today, I'll go through every single friend I think Kiryu has made, and a bit about Kiryu's relationship with them. There will be spoilers. In fact, believe it or not, many of Kiryu's friends are now dead. Yeah, Kiryu's friends don't have a high chance of living. If you want to be safe in the Yakuza universe, maybe meet with Ichiban instead. So just as a fun bonus, I will also count the amount of dead friends Kiryu has, and calculate a death percentage, starting chronologically with Yakuza 0. Before we start, shout out to community legend Devilion7 whose footage I'm using throughout the video. But if you're watching this, you probably don't need me to tell you he's a good creator. Right off the bat, Akira Nishikiyama is Kiryu's sworn brother and is absolutely his best friend, of course, he dies. Nishiki is Kiryu's oldest and probably most treasured ally until he wasn't and then he wasn't again. And I mean, Nishiki is the one grave he still regularly visits along with Shintaro Kazuma and Yumi Sawamura. Are we counting Shintaro Kazuma? He's Kiryu's parent figure, so it's gonna be a bit awkward counting him as a friend, but I'll just say yes. I suppose there is a debate there, though. Yumi is also his friend, of course, and there's also Reina, who is also now dead. That's like four characters so far, and they've all died. Damn. Another character from the Tojo clan would be Osamu Kashiwagi. He hasn't died. He never died, never. Kashiwagi is sort of like a big brother figure to Kiryu in a way. But do you know the most important friend introduced in the first chapter of Yakuza 0? Bacchus. Kiryu's trainer, Bacchus. Now, here's another one that's a bit up in the air. Does Tetsu Tachibana count? I'm considering yes, but seeing as how one of the bucket list memories in Infinite Wealth has Kiryu say he doesn't really like him or remember Tachibana fondly, so I think I'm gonna say no. Another debate to be had there, I guess. It turns out the concept of your friend gets a little arbitrary sometimes. Kiryu also has two trainers as well, Kamoji and Tatsu, so I'll throw them in as well. Of course, Yakuza 0 also ends with Kiryu meeting Goro Majima, who would definitely continue to be his friend at some point in the future, even though he has tried to kill him a ton. They're definitely not friends at the Yakuza 0 epilogue though, but they are at some point in the Yakuza saga. Also Shinji, he's here. So as we move on to sub-stories, there's a bit of a dilemma here, because every Yakuza game has a lot of characters who are in a sub-story, but have basically no effect on Kiryu, and aren't even remembered past that one sub-story. So I'll try my best to get as many as possible, but if a character is Kiryu's friend in one substory in one game, I'm not going to say they're significant enough to be here. They're an acquaintance at best. So, most substory characters aren't here. There are special friendships Kiryu can, of course, have in the game, and since the links are specifically called friendships, I'd say they count. So that adds Ofisu Kikuchi, Miho, Kitajima, Mr. Libido. <laughs> Haruki, Pocket Circuit Fighter, Ayaka, Riku, Emiri, the Susi Jeans Chef, Luka, and Mr. Moneybags, Fukushima. I'm also going to add all of the real estate managers. Sueno Hirata, Tematsu Nagaoka, Kasuga, no not that one, Nugget, Sachiko, Leisure King, Electronics King, Gambling King, Papillon Kato, and Spinning. That leaves 32 known 80s friends of Kiryu. So, I counted Kazuma, but does Haruka then count? Sure, she counts. And the dog. In the first Yakuza game, probably the most notable friend of Kiryu though is Makoto Date. He's a pretty recurring character, and he kinda triggered this whole video in a way, seeing as how he kickstarts a lot of these bucket list missions in Infinite Wealth. Speaking of which, there's also Yuya and Kasuki from the Stardust Club, who had a pretty tear-jerking scene in that game. 
Another iconic character is Gary Buster Holmes, an enemy from the Purgatory Coliseum who would go on to become Kiryu's ally, and he would return a lot. There's also Gawain Pramuk, but no one remembers him. He doesn't even count as a friend. I don't even think he returns past the first game. Gary himself is a bit of a stretch, but he returns enough, so I'd say he counts. After Kiryu fights in the Colosseum, he then of course meets Sotaro Komaki, who goes on to train him and whatnot, and yeah, he's a friend. I'm also going to count Utabori. He's the artist that inked Kiryu and Nishiki's tattoos, and they have a pretty good relationship even if the guy hasn't really been in a game for a while. If I'm including Sotaro Komaki, I will also add Renji, since he's the dude who's always giving Kiryu the best weapons and is a recurring character. And finally, the last character from the first Yakuza game I'm going to put here is Emoto. He's a doctor who helps out Kiryu a lot throughout the series, until he just kind of disappears. Yeah, Yakuza loves making characters disappear, but he at least comes back in Infinite Well. That gives Kiryu a total of 10 friends from 2005. Not bad for a guy who just came out of prison. And none of them die either. The two most famous friends from Yakuza 2 are probably going to be Karu Sayama and Daigo Dojima. Karu is Kiryu's love interest, and has a pretty important role in the story. Are you tired of me complaining about people disappearing from the franchise yet? Well, she comes back in infinite wealth. Daigo is the sixth chairman of the Tojo clan, and his position as a big ally of Kiryu is not for debate at all. Especially recently, since he's been playable in Gaiden and got a big boss fight in Infinite Wealth, a game I spoiled like five times now. Some of his other Dojima family members like Sohei and Yayoi are definitely allies of Kiryu at times, but they're not really on the level to be his friends. So, I'm gonna sound weird saying this, but does Ryuji go to count? They spend like all of Yakuza 2 hating each other, but because of circumstances, Kiryu has a deep respect for the Dragon of Kansai by the end of the game. I guess they were never really friends when he was alive though, so I won't actually count him. Maybe if Dead Souls was canon though. In terms of sub-story characters in Yakuza 2, the Cabaret Club minigame is a big one, and I'm gonna go ahead and add every hostess. Namely, Yuki, Koyuki, Kana, Aika, Shoko, Yua, Kiara, and the previous owner of the club before Kiyu briefly takes over, which is Yoruda. That makes 10. Yakuza 3 actually has a lot of new buddies for Kiryu. Since I counted Haruka, I guess I will also count the 8 children from his orphanage in Yakuza 3. And the dog. Kiryu's little trip to Okinawa is also where he meets the Ryudo family. And look, I've been complaining about Yakuza not having characters return, but Kiryu's literal oath brother has gotta be a pretty egregious example, right? Like, why did they make Shigeru Nakahara his brother? I don't know. And I don't even know if he's alive at this point, to be honest. His subordinates are Rikia, who is definitely dead, unfortunately, and Mikio, who are also Kiryu's friends. Speaking of unaddressed Oath Brothers, there's Go Hamazaki. He starts as a really, really bad guy who even stabs Kiryu, but he gets a redemption arc in Yakuza 4, so he's kinda Kiryu's friend. So, uh, you guys think Kiryu keeps in touch with Joji Kazuma? I have no idea. He's definitely an ally, and he's even technically Kiryu's uncle, but I don't know if they actually care about each other besides just being allies one time. Maybe it's too awkward to speak to a secret twin brother of your dad. I don't know. I'm gonna add him anyways because it's funny. I can't believe Andre Richardson counts as a friend now, but he is. The dude who says Roof funny is now Kiryu's friend. There's also Ibuki and Kotaro, from some sub-stories sub about an honest living organization for former Yakuza members that returns in Yakuza 4 as well. There's also this Asian Doc Brown ripoff, Minamida. He's a. He's there. And finally, this dude, Mac. He's responsible for the whole revelation concept in some stories, which is important enough that I'll add him. That makes 19 from Yakuza 3. That is way more than I expected, but 
Honestly, I'm not that surprised considering this game is very emotions focused, and it certainly takes its time with some lesser stake situations before not doing that. <laughs> So in case you didn't know, Yakuza 4 is where the game starts to have multiple protagonists, and it's not until a while in where Kiryu is actually a playable character. The final chapters have all the protagonists meet up though, so Shu Nakiyama, Taiga Saichima, and Masayoshi Tanimura are all added to the list. Taiga also has a sister named Yasuko Saichima, who Kiryu spent some time with in this story, and I suppose they are friends. She does die though. And look, another forgotten sibling for Taiga Saijima, who already has a long forgotten Oath sibling. And one very much not forgotten Oath sibling. So in total, Kiryu's Yakuza 4 adventure makes him a modest yet fitting of four friends. Not really unexpected considering the multiple protagonists to be honest. I've always felt like if anyone had to be the main protagonist of Yakuza 4, it's probably Akiyama anyways, not Kiryu. Kiryu is still extremely important, but he does take a backseat. Protagonists is carried on in Yakuza 5. But now there's Tatsuo Shinada, and he becomes acquainted with Kiryu enough as well. Kiryu spends most of the beginning of this game hanging around in Fukuoka, driving taxis and going through some Yakuza drama. So, he makes some taxi driving buddies doing that. Those being his boss Yotaro, and co-workers Hirakawa, Tomowaki, Yuzo, and Kochi. This won't be on the test. He's also accompanied by a Yakuza dude named Tadashi Madarame, and his hostess daughter Mayumi. One last new character for this depressing story, Masaru Watase. He's the chairman of the Omi Alliance, and though he's thought to be a villain, he's revealed to be a friend of Daigo and becomes an ally of Kiryu later on. He's even a major player in the whole Great Dissolution situation for Yakuza 7. In total, that's 9. Even if some of those people might think they're friends with Taichi Suzuki. That's a completely different character, don't get them mixed up. Wait, was I getting them mixed up? I think I might have, fuck. Yakuza 6 has a few weird situations with it. You'll see what I mean in a bit. First off though, the main story. I know I counted Kiryu's children and dog, but I'm not gonna count a whole ass baby. Babies don't even remember who you are. In this story, he also visits Onimichi, and meets a bartender named Kiyomi, as well as the Hirose family, who he becomes acquainted with. Not unlike the Ryudo family. So that's Toro Hirose, Nagumo, Yuta, Takashira, and Matsugana. Those are the main story friends, but there are a ton of sub-story ones due to a couple of minigames this game has. Yakuza 6 has friend links like Yakuza 0, but this time it's done through bar chats. Can I say, I kinda hated these. I love how they're done in Yakuza like a dragon, but it was very boring in Yakuza 6. You have to use gods to get all the right answers. So that's Mama-san, Hatakiyama, Gen-san, Akiyushi, Kaneko, and Ondo. By the way, this concept was very similar to the Cabaret Club minigames, where you speak to girls at Cabaret Clubs, and so there will probably be people who ask why those Cabaret Club girls aren't here. To that, I have to say, go, like, go look up stuff and learn about the Cabaret Club industry. They're not friends. There's also the Kiryu Clan where Kiryu builds up a gang to beat up another gang called Justice. That particular minigame lets you recruit a ton of characters to Kiryu's gang, but I'm just gonna include the founding members. Joe, Masao, and Yasu. I'm also including Chiba, the dude who founded the baseball team minigame. In terms of sub-story characters, I'm gonna include the two Yakuza 6 characters who returned in Infinite Well. Shizo Uka, the girl who was inspired to get surgery by Ono Michio, and Munan Akamatsu, the reformed cult leader. I love Yakuza man. I suppose I can also throw in Hiro Naka for starting the whole Ono Michio trend too. So that's 19, and considering how similar Yakuza 3 and 6 are, it's not surprising they have the same amount of friends for Kiryu.
Yakuza Like a Dragon is where Kiryu takes a bit of a break from the franchise, but he's still in it and has a big fight with the new protagonist Ichiban. But don't worry, Kiryu respects him and eventually becomes great friends with him, and his entire party for that member. He's even a pound mate. Kiryu gets to pound for Ichiban. So Ichiban, Adachi, Nanba, Sayako, Junki, Sanhi, and Zhao are all there. Sorry, Eri, you don't count. That makes seven characters in total. Don't worry, Kiryu is immediately back though. Now, this is a bit of a weird situation for Kiryu to uh, get social in, because in Like a Dragon Gaiden, Kiryu is supposed to be dead, and he's working for a secret agent facility called the Daidoji Faction. The members of the organization are very strict, and I think Kiryu's relationship with them is... gonna be strictly business. Except Hanuma. Have you seen the ending of this game? They're definitely at least friends, even if they're probably not gonna go for drinks or something. There's also Akame, who is the manager of the Akame network, and basically all of the side content in the game. Another big piece of side content is the sort of successor to the Kiryu clan thing, being the Colosseum mode, where you recruit a bunch of dudes to your clan, and look man, I don't consider them his friend. Kiryu never even talks to them at all, and they don't even know his real name. Sorry, they don't count. And honestly, Gaiden having two friends in this entire game, not that surprising. And finally, we have Like a Dragon Infinite Well. Despite this being the biggest Yakuza game since Yakuza 5, and putting a focus back on Kiryu, it doesn't really introduce that many allies besides the main party, since his sub-stories are all basically based on reminiscing on past events. The only characters I can really add here are Eric Tomizawa and Chitose Fujinomiya, the two new party members who Kiryu was in the party with for a pretty big amount of time at the beginning of the game. I guess it's harder to make friends when you're a dying old man, so yeah, just those two. To be fair, though, this game is actually where Kiryu becomes friends with some of Ichiban's party members from before, so that could be part of it. You might be able to make a case for some of the poundmates counting, since Kiryu can call on them for a bunch of his fights, but they don't actually have a conversation with each other, so saying that would just be headcanon. So in total, that's 114 friends of everyone's favorite Yakuza. But then that introduces the question of how strong the Kiryu curse is. Well, there's probably less friends dead than you expect. 12 characters. That is still a lot though. It's about 11% of all of Kiryu's friends who have died. Hey, that might sound pretty unfortunate, and if you know that number, I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't want to be Kiryu's friend. But hey, the sheer number of friends shows his admirable quality of saying yes to life and helping everyone he can. We could all be like Kiryu. Plus, basically all the dudes who died were actually involved with the Yakuza, so if you aren't, the most you might get is kidnapped. That's about it for today, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. If you don't have 114 friends, you can't say you're literally Kiryu.